grammar. It's a word that can strike fear into the hearts of even the most confident communicators. But what exactly is grammar and why should we care about it? In simple terms, grammar is the set of rules that govern how we use language. Just as a game has rules that dictate how it's played, grammar provides the framework for how we structure words and phrases to create meaningful communication. Think of a game of football. Without rules, it would be chaotic, with players running in all directions, unsure of the objective. Grammar provides the same structure to language. It helps us understand how words relate to each other, how to form sentences that make sense, and how to interpret the meaning behind the words we read and hear. Without grammar, communication would be a confusing and frustrating experience. We would struggle to understand each other and our messages would be lost in translation. By providing a common set of rules, grammar ensures that we can communicate effectively and efficiently, whether we're writing an email, having a conversation or reading a book. Clear communication is essential in all aspects of life. It allows us to share our thoughts and ideas, build relationships and achieve our goals. When we communicate clearly, we are more likely to be understood, respected and taken seriously. On the other hand, poor communication can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts and missed opportunities. Imagine trying to explain a complex idea to someone using incorrect grammar or sentence structure. The message would likely be lost, leading to frustration for both parties. Effective communication is not just about getting our point across. It's also about building trust and rapport with others. When we use grammar correctly, we demonstrate that we care about the message we're conveying and that we respect the person we're communicating with. This is especially important in professional settings where clear and concise communication is crucial for success. To understand grammar, it's helpful to think of language as a system of building blocks. At the most basic level, we have words, which are the individual units of meaning. Words can be combined to form phrases, which are groups of words that function as a single unit. For example, the words the and cat can be combined to form the phrase the cat. Phrases can then be combined to form sentences, which are the basic units of communication. A sentence typically consists of a subject, who or what the sentence is about, and a predicate, what the subject is doing or being. Grammar provides the rules for how we put these building blocks together. It tells us which words can be combined to form phrases, how to order words within a phrase, and how to combine phrases to form sentences. These rules ensure that our sentences are grammatically correct and easy to understand. Grammar is also essential for understanding language. When we read or hear a sentence, our brains automatically process the words and phrases using grammar to decode the meaning. We identify the subject, the verb and the object of the sentence and we use our knowledge of grammar to understand how these elements relate to each other. For example, consider the sentence, the cat chased the mouse. We know that the cat is the subject because it is performing the action of chasing. We know that chased is the verb because it describes the action. And we know that the mouse is the object because it is the thing being chased. Our understanding of grammar allows us to instantly grasp the meaning of this sentence. We don't have to stop and think about the rules of grammar. We simply apply them unconsciously. This automatic processing is what allows us to understand language so quickly and effortlessly. Section 5 the power of punctuation, adding clarity and meaning. Punctuation is an integral part of grammar, acting as the traffic signals of written communication. Just as traffic signals guide drivers, punctuation marks guide readers, ensuring a smooth flow of information and preventing misinterpretations. Imagine a road without any traffic signals. Chaos would ensue. Similarly, text without punctuation would be confusing and difficult to decipher. A simple comma, for instance, can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. Consider the following sentences. Let's eat grandma and let's eat grandma. The first sentence, punctuated correctly, is an invitation to grandma to join a meal. The second, lacking a comma, implies a rather horrifying suggestion. 
This example highlights the critical role punctuation plays in ensuring clarity and conveying the intended meaning. From periods and commas to question marks and exclamation points, each punctuation mark serves a specific purpose, adding nuance, emphasis and clarity to our writing. Section 6. Grammar in the Workplace Making a good impression. In professional settings, grammar takes on even greater significance. Whether you're writing an email, a report or a presentation, the way you use language reflects your professionalism, credibility and attention to detail. A grammatically correct message conveys competence and inspires confidence in your abilities. Conversely, errors in grammar can damage your credibility and make you appear careless or unprofessional. Imagine receiving a business proposal riddled with grammatical errors. Would you feel confident entrusting your project to someone who doesn't seem to have a firm grasp of basic language skills? Probably not. Therefore, it's crucial to proofread your work carefully, ensuring that your writing is free of grammatical errors. Paying attention to grammar demonstrates your commitment to excellence and helps you make a positive impression in the workplace. Section 7. Avoiding Common Errors, Subject Verb, Agreement and More While English grammar can be complex, there are some common errors that people often make. One of the most frequent errors is Subject Verb Agreement, which means ensuring that the verb in a sentence agrees in number with its subject. For example, we say, the cat chases the mouse, singular subject, singular verb, but the cats chase the mouse, plural subject, plural verb. Another common mistake is misusing pronouns. Pronouns must agree in number and gender with the nouns they replace. For instance, we say, the boy lost his hat, masculine pronoun, but the girl lost her hat, feminine pronoun. By being aware of these common errors and learning the rules behind them, we can significantly improve the clarity and correctness of our writing. Section 8. The Evolution of Grammar – Language is Alive It's important to remember that language is not static. It's constantly evolving. New words are created, old words take on new meanings, and grammatical rules adapt to reflect these changes. What was considered grammatically correct a century ago might be considered outdated or even incorrect today. For example, the use of they as a singular pronoun, once considered grammatically incorrect, is now widely accepted. This evolution of language is a natural and necessary process. As our world changes, so too must our language adapt to reflect new ideas, technologies and social norms. Therefore, while it's essential to learn the rules of grammar, it's equally important to be aware of how language is changing and to be open to new ways of using it. Section 9. Resources for improvement, books, websites and apps. The good news is that there are countless resources available to help you improve your grammar. From comprehensive grammar books to interactive websites and apps, there's a learning tool out there for everyone, regardless of your current skill level or learning style. Some popular grammar books include The Elements of Style by Strunk and White and Eats, Shoots and Leaves by Lynn Truss. Websites like Grammarly and Hemingway. Editor offer real-time grammar and style checking, while apps like Duolingo and Babbel provide interactive grammar lessons. The key is to find resources that resonate with you and that fit into your lifestyle. Whether you prefer a traditional textbook approach or a more modern, technology-based method, there's a way for everyone to master the art of grammar. Section 10. Conclusion. Grammar matters. In conclusion, grammar matters. It's the foundation of clear communication, allowing us to express ourselves effectively understand each other and build strong relationships. Whether we're writing an email, having a conversation or reading a book. Grammar plays a vital role in ensuring that our messages are clear, concise and easy to understand. In professional settings, good grammar is essential for making a good impression, building credibility and achieving success. By mastering the rules of grammar, we unlock the power of language and open doors to countless opportunities in all aspects of life. So, embrace the challenge of learning grammar 
and watch as your communication skills soar to new heights.